brand new information we're learning tonight after multiple vehicles were hit by projectiles along a 10 mile stretch of I-75. Total of four incidents overall reported within 30 minutes from Rochester Road to the north and to the Davison in the south. Priya Mann following this story uh, and whether we've got any leads that who, who might have done this, Priya? Well, Devin, Kimberly, police strongly suspect whoever is responsible is bragging about it, and they're hoping the people who hear about it will come forward. Now, at this time, it's not clear if those projectiles are being fired from an overpass like this or a moving vehicle on the freeway. Personally, I would find it hard to believe that someone would do that, but you never know. After hearing something hit the rear window of her pickup truck, this was the damage caused by a projectile on I-75. Sunday afternoon, four drivers were hit within 30 minutes. It's kind of scary. And if they're hitting the back windows like that, not only the drivers, the passengers, but also if somebody's riding with kids or anything like that, that could be very dangerous. State police have ruled out road debris and gunfire, calling this an isolated incident. Investigators believe someone was firing a BB gun or a slingshot at passing vehicles. No bullets, no bullet holes, no evidence of any type of firearms. So we're looking at this as type of a vandalism situation. Drivers reported being hit between 3 and 3.30 Sunday afternoon along a 10-mile stretch of I-75 spanning from Rochester Road in Troy to the Davison Freeway in Detroit. Something need to happen though behind this because that's like, that's too much. In December, someone shot a gun at four vehicles along I-94. While no one was arrested in that investigation, police say it's not connected to projectiles hitting vehicles over the weekend. Nor do police believe the damage was caused by falling concrete or chunks of pavement like we saw in 696. Regardless, when it comes to being safe on area freeways, many drivers say it simply comes down to luck. <laughs> Plain and simple, no. Because uh, what you going to do, drive behind the steering wheel, like duck down, there's, there's really nothing. And police are urging drivers to stay calm and be alert. One of the drivers who is hit doesn't know exactly where they were struck. And of course, when you're looking for a pellet that small along a large stretch of the freeway, that can be next to impossible. But again, if you have any information, police want to hear from you. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Yeah. All right, Priya.